So alkali silica reaction is something that occurs in concrete. The alkali is part of the cement within the concrete. The silica is a component of the aggregate. And that's the fine and the coarse aggregates. When you are thinking about ASR, these, uh, it's the expansion that occurs when the cement reacts with the, some aggregates. If you picture these aggregates all expanding over you know, the full size of a concrete slab, you get this expansion and this thing will, will fall and crack apart. Um, so when that, when that occurs, you'll start seeing uh, cracking at the surface of a slab. And that, that cracking, like if I, if I drew, so this is a corner of a slab, this is the full scale. You're going to start to see some, some cracking that, that goes all, and this is, you know, roughly the size that you'll see, and it runs to the edges uh, of, of the cracks. So it's, it's really, it looks like alligator cracking almost on, at the top of the surface of the concrete. I think once you st see the signs of like failure, this type of cracking, it's only a matter of time before you start seeing major cracks in your slabs. And they usually start where, you know, the main gear of your air, your heavier aircraft are tracking through. You'll start to see, if they're running on pavement with ASR issues, you'll start to see larger cracks form all the way through the slabs. So it really, at that point, it's really only a matter of time before you've got more catastrophic failure. You got major spalling, you got FOD issues, which is like foreign object debris, like damaging aircraft. So it's only a matter of time. You have to, you really have to have like a, uh, a short-term plan to address the issue. And then while you're working on that short-term plan, what's the long-term plan to, to get the rehab of this entire area where you're experiencing these ASR issues taken care of? There's not really a lot you can do to uh, prevent this from occurring because it's really, it's based, it, it's, it's due to the, uh, the, the, the aggregates that's within the concrete. There's really no way to fix it. It's just a matter of time um, that you have before things start failing. You can take that existing concrete that's, that's failed due to ASR you can grind it up and you can, uh, to the gradations per the P219 specification, you can grind that up and you can reuse it on your site. Uh, if you have uh, issues with your subgrade due to moisture, um, you know, a lot of times you can, you can justify partial removal of that existing subgrade and you can replace it with the P219 to create a more stable uh, a subgrade and then you build your concrete up on top of that. Now the FAA specs for uh, for P501 which is the standard spec uh, for airfields for concrete uh, there's ASR testing there's ASTM standards that that uh, require you know 28 day testing to test for this expansion that that occurs within the coarse aggregates and the fine aggregates so we have a way of documenting uh, aggregates from the quarries to, to to see if they're okay for use ASR it really it really should be an issue of the past there's proper testing procedures in place now that really will will prevent this type of cracking and this type of failure in the future